You for me? Hey, how are you, sir? What's happening? I know, I've got dyslexia, I don't understand why you guys keep chilling me, do you not understand that dyslexia means I've got a, a poor memory it's, a, and, and, thing, and also I'm impunctual? Yes, but we have to have an appointment, we have to have some kind of... I know, but I'm not doing saying. it, no, but you're missing the point. It's like you saying to me, if I was a one-legged man, why are you not winning, winning that 100 metres? That's a strange analogy. Well, I, but it's not really because, because no, 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 let me, let me explain why it's not a strange analogy. I was born with this condition. Um, I'm actually suing South Lancashire Council just now because of their failure to identify it when I was younger. So it's a, it's a hereditary, lifelong, uh, widely acknowledged condition. Yes. So the fact is that if you're discriminating, discriminating against me about punctuality, then it's a discrimination against my dis disability. Absolutely wrong. No, it's not. It's not wrong. It's not. Definitely not wrong. We, we would. We would say. Do you have a mobile? Yes, I've got. It's not. You're missing the point. The the fact that you, I know what time it is doesn't mean that I don't forget. Right, so because um, uh, dyslexia is part of um, uh, memory, so even if I've read it, which I do get it, that's the reason I'm here actually um, relatively on time. And B, um, uh, actually timekeeping is the problem. It's not about, um, and, and if, if you ask anyone, I'm late for everything, uh, and that's part of the condition. So what would you suggest would be a workaround for that then? We, uh, we'd have to be flexible. Yes, pretty much. Uh, pre or, or flexible times within a period of time. Well, we, we have a very rigid appointment system. And it doesn't work for me, and this is the point. This is why I'm here. Well, we have a very rigid appointment system. And this is the point. This is why I find it difficult in employment, and this is why I'm trying to get self employment. Because it, um, rigid um, t things with dyslexia are not good for, for somebody with my condition. Because I've got to fit into your time scale, which I understand that you operate a, a, in, a, in that way. It is difficult for me, and this is where it comes to a problem in uh, employment as well. Right. Well, this is a first for me in the way of dyslexia. Uh, you can check out. I was in the cross party committee right. for dyslexia, and and and, it, and, it, and it's, yeah. it's 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 a documented uh, condition. Right. Uh, the way it is. Oh, I know what dyslexia is, but no, no, no. It's documented that it affects the memory and personal personal timekeeping right. organisation. Well, obviously, if if you're trying to uh, do your own thing, get your own business, and, and all the rest of it. You'd have to have a coping mechanism or a, or, or something. I usually phone people and tell them that I'm going to be I'm going to be late. So if I'm, I I was I was late to see the the girl I've got a new house and uh, so I'm just as yes, I do book in for nine but really make it twenty past ten. That's a, a potential. That's a potential. No, that's not. That's actually what people do with me. So people will actually give me a half an hour grace. Okay, if you came in at night, yes, well, I'd be able to see you because yes. I'm really scheduled. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It's a very difficult one. That, um, uh, rigid structures don't work with the dyslexics. Well, well, this is why it's a, This is why you get a lot of unemployed people who are dyslexic and you also get a lot of people who have set up their own business that are dyslexic. Also, we also have a lot of folk that uh, are, uh, are saying that they're dyslexic because they're not... They're I've, you already know, I've already given you, I've already given yeah, you my educational... But, uh, as I said, I don't need to check uh, that. Mm -hmm. I just assume, mm -hmm. rightly or wrongly, mm -hmm. what you're telling me is the truth. No, it is. That, it is, it is the truth. It, it, so I don't need to look, check up. Uh, and if you're telling uh, me you have, that's fine. No, it's not the fact that I have dyslexia. You've already got the educational psychology support on your system. So I submitted that years ago. Uh, so I think I think maybe you're uh, giving me more credit or more access yeah. than I've got. Yeah, yeah well, I, 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 I did submit it years ago. Some Somebody has that on you a, You've got the details on your... I know, but the, you've got the details on but, the... But not on my computer. Oh, really? Well, I thought have, you would conduct it. We're not... Uh, ours is an oracle or anything. Right, right. I thought you would actually we, have the listed. Absolutely. We have a system. Uh -huh. It's a labour market system. Right. Really nice. Right. And we have a legacy system, which is a benefit system, which is right. GSAP's job seekers right. processing system. Right. That's the two systems I have. Right. The information is uh, deleted as is required. So say the information was 10 years ago, I had a conversation yeah. and say, Mr. Valentine came in, job service was good. No. In time, that would be deleted. No, yeah. okay, so, so you're doing storage, no so, storage. So it's not because... Yeah, but you would think, it, no, but I understand that, I can understand that, but a specific learning difficulty, I've actually got two of the ADD as well. Yeah, so well, I've got two learning difficulties. Yeah, see, so there you go. And I've shown my educational well, support. Say, you've said you should have a report. No, I've, I've had the educational, I've submitted my educational report I to you. I don't have that. No, that's I don't fine. Have access to it. No, that's I fine. I can see that you have a DP marker, uh -huh. right? Which, would, which tells us that there is a potential barrier. 
Yeah. Right? But it doesn't actually go into, if you click on this box, mm. you get the report off. Right, well, I think you maybe should then, if, it's got, if they're going to do that. No chance. That's right. never going to happen. Right. They, they will never, data protection mm. what's relevant to uh -huh. somebody else. Okay, but anyway, anyway, I'm telling you anyway. Point, yeah. yeah, so I've also got ADD. So, that, but yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know the full Sure, of, okay. sure. Right, what I did get, you'll be aware. Uh, let's see here. Was an email from one of my and Lord. relating to your complaint. Yeah, well, you should understand this. I've been here, do you, do you know how long I've been uh, coming here to High Rings? Yes. How long, when did I start coming here? So That's right, don't worry. I know you're, uh, you're into words in uh -huh. the yeah. so I want to give you a definitive. No, that's fine, that's no problem. Um, but my, my point is, uh, regardless, you can tell me as you're looking up, but um, the point is that uh, you guys have known that I've been setting up the business. I've now finished my email signatures. I only need to develop one website and uh, I will then be able to launch the business and I need access to capital to actually set it up. Now, the only way thing that you guys have got are, uh, is the NEA, which I've asked to go on several occasions I need, it's going to take three months to actually, if I was to get the, the, the money on day one, it would take three months to, for me to develop the website, mm -hmm. right? Your thing lasts three months, but it's then to develop the business plan. I've spent a year developing a business plan. My business plan is 210 pages long. I'm not, I've asked on several occasions to get on the NEA so I can actually... You've you had an individual assessment and you chose that stage not to take it further. Yeah, at that stage, but I'm now ready. I've finished the business plan and uh, I'm, I'm pretty much ready to go. I've, I've asked on several occasions to uh, take it further now. But uh, what? You, you, again, no. Uh, sorry for cutting in, but uh, you know, this was your uh, email, okay. yeah. right? Stating all the points. Yeah. Now, I believe People Plus, the manager of that, actually sent you a response to that uh, regarding all your points. I didn't see it, I've not seen that. Uh, that you made. Okay. Uh, let's see. That was me. Starting on any but fail. So please see foot to the latest communication we received from Mr. David Craig Valentine, 5th of March, when they phoned the office looking for David Piper, who has left the business. Yeah. We have lo I've loaded the email at foot uh, regarding uh, your investigation, the, the investigation that they had. Uh, about my complaint. Mm -hmm. And you received that. Yeah. Uh, and that's where they stand just now. Yes, I know, but I, I've got no choice but to go through this private company for starting up my own business. That I don't have any other option um, uh, other than the DSL for developing this business. Who's going to give me the money to actually get it to stage one? And you guys should be on the ball for this. You guys should be... F well, are you saying no? But I'm, I, saying, I'm saying no because we have nothing available that comes close to what you're looking well, for. Well, that's a big mistake then, isn't it? Because yeah. because it, it's me that's going to be generating the money in the economy because it'll be me that's got the private company and it'll be me that's actually um, um, uh, providing jobs in, uh, in, in tax, taxes. That's where the, the actual money comes from. It's the yeah. private sector that but, generates that. But I know that you, you know that this is not a, a fund uh, or... The, but they said the they're accessed system, about 15... But the welfare system... Is not there to just have a unsurmountable amount of money that. Is no, no, but it should have. Money. It should have a proposal. Well, you're saying no. I would get rid of some of the civil servants and get the, get a billion pounds into start up companies. You, 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 you. It's me that's going to be generating the money. That's the, the bottom line. It's me that's going to be generating. It. If, once I get, and I will get it some way, um, the money to actually um, uh, develop the, the, the websites. 
and then it's me that's going to actually have that. And, 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 I, and I look forward to... But, but I'm certainly not getting helped here, am I? I'm not getting on the NEA. The DSLs asked me to rewrite a 210-page business plan. Um, that is, I mean, that was the top 13 business plans for all the students in Scotland. I'm, I'm, aware, I'm aware of your background because obviously we've spoken about yeah. that before and that. And, mm -hmm. and obviously the DSL is what you were looking at. Mm -hmm. The NEA, I mm -hmm. think that has is, is, is happened. It's not been taken forward. And, and I, I think you had a conversation with a Geraldine mm -hmm. on the 6th of March, mm -hmm. which I believe the... He, he never let us speak. He, and and I never let. Who's Geraldine? Geraldine too. Geraldine, he, it was a person that you, not Elaine Patterson. Sorry, I'm misreading that. He, for who? For who? She was the enterprise coordinator. That was the one that you called on. Yeah, uh, 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 I received a telephone call from you. Uh, Is she with People Plus? Yes. Right. Twenty five, uh, and the uh, conversation lasted about twenty five minutes. And you were raising a number of uh, points, right? But at no time were you allowing her to talk. Yeah, but she kept saying the same thing. She kept saying the fact that they'd already um, uh, done a, an assessment, and it wasn't going anywhere. The conversation didn't go anywhere. The conversation basically said, um, "We're not doing uh, taking you on board, even though we're the only organisation that, as a, an entrepreneur, you can use uh, from being unemployed. We're not taking you on board. So tough luck." We've sent, we've done an investigation and we're still not doing it. So what, what's the point in actually having these organisations if they're not taking the entrepreneurs on uh, on board or forward? Well, it was, uh, I believe it's been a couple of times I've spoken to you uh, and uh, on, I don't know if one or two occasions, you've actually said that you will not take this forward. No, but no. What actually, the thing that actually happened, and let me be succinct, the thing that actually happened was the way that they've set up this course. So I'm setting up a, a, a website. Yeah. So it's going to take three months. So I get the money on day one. And I have to put that website in programming, which will take three months. Then on uh, the uh, uh, on three months, once the website's developed, now that's if it goes smoothly, the web development, and usually it doesn't. But let's say it takes three months to get the, the, the web developer is bang on the money. Then after the three months, I have to, then I start generating the business on the back of that. Now that may vary, but the way that this is set up for the entrepreneur is not flexible enough to take into consideration that period of time from actually doing that. So it's a failure in the legislation to actually... Um, um, it's not about legislation. Well, who, who's decided that it's going to be three months to actually do the business plan and then on uh, you've got to start your business on... Well, like, like anything, when you're giving... Uh, when DWP are giving a contract to an outside organisation mm -hmm. and uh, and people tender for the work that they are going to conduct, right? right? You have to have a processes. Yeah, I understand, but I'm saying the processes are wrong as an entrepreneur. It's, it's not legislation. Okay, that, okay. Well, let, let me. If it's that's yeah. even that's even better. So if this is only if this is only processes, I would be your client, right? I would be your customer, right? I'm eligible. Right. I'll mention that. Right. I'd be your customer as an entrepreneur. I should be on the. Uh, should be doing this pr program. I'm saying this is completely wrong. So as as the guy that we is going to be the product at the end, this is not um, conducive to me developing the business in lines with what is required to be done. Right. So that I'm saying you're if if you if you're saying it's not legislated for, if you're saying that this is only the processes, me as your client is saying this is process is wrong right. and you need to rethink it. Can, can you? I'm sure you'll agree, well, I hope you'll agree, that no matter what DWP do in the way of training or uh, providers or provision or, or whatever, right, you will not have a 100% perfect system that helps and supports for everybody's needs. Mm -hmm. Everybody. Well, Just well, well that's when, that's when you don't need a system, vast, you need to be the flexible. Vast majority Mm -hmm. of people that go to New Enterprise Allowance, mm -hmm. right, are helped, supported, and successfully... It depends on the enterprise. Yourself. Exactly. Yes, well, but there's I'm saying to... Going to be, there's always going to be the very few, hopefully, that this enterprise will not suit. Yes, well, it's not suit me, and let me tell you something else. So let me give you an example. See if I was a plumber. 
it might suit me or a tradesman or certain certain vacations. But it's me that's got the bigger enterprise. It's me that's got to going that's got a, a potential global enterprise, which means that I need to have be precise in what I'm developing. But don't you think that people that actually start off self employment, right, actually believe no, if you're a plumber, you're not going to be a global ent. Oh, well, it's highly unlikely. Well, it's highly unlikely. You know, well, no. If you're a, a tradesman, well, like, 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 started off in a wee record shop. I'm like, no, I, I yes, he started off. Well, <laughs> it's, now, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, can, but that's. But he was, somebody. but he was funded. Let me tell you, yeah, Richard. You Br- listen, I did, did, did a thing when Richard. Well. Right. Yeah, yeah. but he was helped by his parents. So I've not got that um, um, luxury to be helped by my parents. So I need access to capital. Uh, there has to be a mechanism for access to capital to actually get the, 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 the stage one uh, funding actually happening. So there has to be a way of actually getting the money that's required to start up. I mean, it doesn't have to be a lot of money, but it has to be... the oh, thing. 25k. Well, if 20... Well, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm having to be right. Listen... <coughs> the DSL are wanting me to rewrite a 200 page business plan rather than using it as a referral um, uh, document. The business plan is completely correct. I, as I said, I was in the top uh, 10. They want me to rewrite it for 45 pages and they still might not give me the funding. It's a joke. Well, uh, unfortunately, it's only. Well, I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to register every business offshore and not pay any taxes, so I'm not paying you your salaries then. So that, that's fair enough. If we two can play that game, well, if you're not... Pay my salary. Well, listen, if there was only civil servants that were here, eh, the place would go bankrupt. The only reason it's kept afloat is through the private sector. And that, that's, that's what you have to understand. You're not generating anything. You're not generating... No, well, okay. I'm not even going to argue in that pro- process. How am I, so I'm worthless? Uh-huh. No, I'm not saying you personally are worthless. I'm saying, though, that if you change the concept of this job, so that, for instance, if there was a, a, a UBI... Jobs are means to an end. What? A job's a means to an end. You're saying I'm not contributing, right? No, I'm saying, I'm saying the fact that you're not generating wealth for the country. Of course I am. Right, go on. Okay. Not directly or not? I, Maybe indirectly. Of course I am. Right, go on. Right. I earn money. Right. I then spend my money. You get taxpayers' money that, that we're actually paying for. That's what I'm saying. It's a I'm not saying that, but you're getting, getting paid by I, the tax. Then I go round to Marvie, the coffee shop. Right. So, but I, you're getting paid by I, the taxpayer. And I, and I, That's what I'm saying. So my point is that it's the private sector that are generating the taxes and you're getting paid by the taxpayer. My mum is a teacher. It's a valuable job. But it's not the fact... I pay my taxes in that as well. I understand that, but you're paying taxes on the people who are paying the taxes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? Let me let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. The concept is that we, I'm, I'm freeloading from the tax. Market. I'm not saying you're freeloading. I'm not saying you're not doing a job. I'm saying the fact is that the people who are generating the wealth are the private sector. And as, as I'm going into the private sector, I'm not getting any help for the public sector. I'm not in the service. ENEA. I'm not getting access to DSL. You, um, the, the, the you're a public service. I understand you're a public service. support people back into work. Well, I'm not getting any support. Whether, whether that be private sector or not, who then contribute... I'm not, I'm not getting any support to getting back into work. I'm not getting any support. I'm not getting any support to set up my own business. The NEA said they're not going to take me on. The DSL want me to write a, rewrite a 210-page business plan. And, 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 and you say that we pay my council tax. Mortgage. You're paying taxes that, on a tax. So the men and that, I'm not saying you're. Money okay, so money. so let me let me can I can I do you mean yeah. if you want me to answer yeah, your question, I'll answer it. Right, right. I understand. Right. So I'm going to. So if I generate money, I pay ta- I pay taxes. I will, will pay taxes on my business my business uh, the the money that I earn uh, nationally and internationally from whatever transactions I do. I pay taxes because I generate growth. Right, those taxes go to pay your uh, your taxes. So the money you get is from the taxes that I generate. So the amount of taxes I generate, you get paid off of, and then you get taxed. So the taxes that I get uh, I pay for generating the growth, you get taxed on, and then they get taxed again. So it's a, a, a no end in sight, a circle from the say, public sector. On that theory, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You are saying mm-hmm. the only people that are contributing. People I'm not saying I'm not the, the, the only no, no, no. businesses. Do I, they own the private businesses. Because everybody else I'm works gonna, for. Let, let me. Therefore, they're not generating wealth. 
they're generating wealth for the individual whose company it is. So you're saying the only people that are really worth anything that are It's not worth anything, I think that you're putting words in your mouth, I never said that. But, or, or worth a... That's they're generating growth, the, 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 growth the economy, is the private the sector. Actual, Correct, 100%. Not the, private sector, not the people that work in the private sector, but the actual people that Entrepreneurs. Own, that own... Entrepreneurs. That's narrow thinking. No, but it's truth. It's the truth. Absolutely. It's the truth. It's the only without, place his growth is coming. Without the people that work in public sector, no, is that the whole system falls. Right. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you. So I lived in Dubai in the UAE. Right. I was held there for two years, as yeah, you probably saw. I, 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 I like to starve, starve on the streets. Right. There's no taxis, no local taxis, no public apart from maybe the courts. No taxis, no public sector, no uh, uh, local taxis, yeah. no nothing. And the whole there's roads. And it, the economy is booming comparative to here. The, more, the greater the civil servants, the greater the number of um, things. Do you know why that is? Why Dubai is... Why, why does Dubai flourish? Well, it's What's built in a... industries? Well, uh, they've, got, they've got financial services now. They've got oil and gas. They've got... Well, but it's not just oil and gas. It's not just oil and gas. No, no. Tourism. Oil and Tourism. gas. Tourism. Uh-huh. Who are the services? Who, who are they servicing? What do you mean? Who, where does that wealth generate from? The, the tourism, the gas and oil, who gets that? Uh, 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 where does that gas and oil go eventually? To us people, we're the ones that buy it or pay for it. Right. It's generation. It's generally I'm not saying, but the point is though that their so economy. I am now worth it. No, no, no. Their so economy. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me explain. Their economy is growing faster because there's no taxation. There's no public. There's a, a, a limited public sector. They've, they've got skyscrapers. I mean, they've got the Burj Khalifa, which is absolutely massive. They've, their economy is booming under the back of no taxation and. Well, that's, I agree with you there. I'm not. I'm not agree. Uh, don't disagree with the totalitarian side of it. But the fact is that, they're, they're, uh, to be honest with you, now a lot of ways they're freer than us. Even though it's a well, it's certainly not the, uh, the legal system, but a lot of ways they've got um, greater freedoms than us. Back to my point, though, while this uh, crazy system is going on here, um, we have. Um, we have, uh, so I'm basically not accessing any capital. Is that basically where we're down to now? So I've wasted, like, can, I, can I just finish and, and then I'll let you retort? I, can, uh, 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 I cannot access any capital. So I've wasted a year developing a business plan. Uh, why, why, why they would ask me to develop a business plan and then not give me access to capital is absolutely beyond me. I may as well not bother with that and try to get the funds in a different manner. And um, and now can you can you tell me as my business coach what actually um, uh, access or what way for being an entrepreneur I've got, I can get out of this situation get access to the capital I need under the DWP banner I have other than referring you to business gateway DSL uh, so not none of them have done anything if you're looking at setting up self employment that's what's available to me. To provide you so, as an option. So NEA said no, they're not going to help me. DSL want me to rewrite a business plan uh, that's and I handed in all the do- and I'm going to have to resubmit uh, all the documentation um, because uh, they could be bored looking at the the business plan and the uh, uh, business gateway has done nothing and I'm actually going to take them uh, and uh, uh, go and speak to them directly. So. I, I, I'm actually physically wasting my time actually talking to all these public sectors because not one of the uh, public sector bodies or even whether a private sector connected to the public sector, there'll be a complete waste of time for me. So, What I would then suggest is if you are unable to move forward with your self-employment, right, a entrepreneurial a idea, right, then maybe then look at going into a work and right. aid environment. Uh, through a PYE system. Yeah, right. Are you finished with that? So let me let me let me let me go back to the uh, what. Job seekers living. Yeah. Says that you are so so that. so let me let me go back to that as well. Then yeah. I've got a degree in financial services. As you've seen my qualifications, mm-hmm. I was a qualified stockbroker. I was a qualified IFA, yeah. and yet again the state has come along and actually told me that all my qualifications are null and void. Now. Uh, I've never had any problems, I've never committed any crimes against the, the, the state, but yet now because the government is coming in, that's like me being a, I don't know what the equivalent would be, me being a, a lawyer and the, the state coming in and saying you have to redo your qualifications and the qualifications they brought in are discriminatory against my dyslexia again. Right. 
So you can apply for any job that you want. No, I will for what, what I'm... Then it's entirely up to an employer to determine whether you have the suitable skill set, whether you've got letters of... But you, but you denied... But I'm not talking about you, Lorraine, um, the job centre denied my um, uh, benefits for two weeks, basically me to basically get a hardship loan. Um, after me submitting um, the CVs to companies that were within the financial sector, and you're telling me that it's up to it's up to the, them you to decide. Can, you can apply, right? But she said I couldn't apply. She said that my my qualifications well, weren't good enough. Well, she didn't know my qualifications. Yeah. I think. Yeah, of course you. I so why did she say that then? Well, well, why did I she? Did she basically did. So well, why did she well, do that? Well, well, I wasn't party to the conversation, right? So I wasn't. I don't know what the process right. was. What I'm saying was, you can apply for anything. Freedom. Of, you have the freedom to apply for. You can apply for astronauts jobs. Which, uh, That's uh, not what she said. She said right? she didn't think but, I had the qualifications to but, do it until she hadn't even seen my qualifications. But if you were to then say, I'm going to look for these types of jobs. Your claim and commitment would say, okay then, your work coach would say, do you have the qualifications? I've already shown you all my qualifications. If, if you could not provide... I've already done it. But if you couldn't, right, then uh, that would be unreasonable to start looking for that kind of job. Well, she didn't know my qualifications. She actually submitted my qualifications after she barred me. Uh, with my degree and with my professional qualifications as well. Right. So she didn't even know what my qualifications are before I um, holding back my money. Well, and obviously, I, services would be not have the qualifications. That's what we've got. Any other services would not require IFA authorization. That's what we've got. Anything in financial I'm services. I'm also a qualified stockbroker yeah. and I've been the head of two Forex companies. So anything in financial services I know about, I can do standing on my head. I was running teams of guys. So I will bring verification of my qualifications. Which I did. So a degree, um, uh, all my financial qualifications, you've got photocopies of them all, um, uh, my securities reps, the full shebang. Right, have you got a universal job manager? No, because you guys won't help me. I've said I've had problems uploading the information and because you've put me through uh, behind this screen, which I've never been violent to any of your staff. Um, Sometimes uh, it's... What, what I would perceive as threatening behaviour. But I'm a Glaswegian, uh, uh, obviously, um, just by my nature, it's threatening. Yeah, but. <laughs> she can't, she can't. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> You're obviously not from Glasgow. <laughs> I, I know that. <laughs> no, I mean, you don't know them as well as I do. Some of the nicest people are from Glasgow. Uh, Sorry, you made uh, me. They're all mental. <laughs> Funniest thing that made me laugh is call, uh, the burgers calling us Ouija's. <laughs> I don't, but anyway, uh, some, of the people, some of the nicest people I've met have been Glaswegian yeah. on holiday and all sorts of No, they're great bunch, I'm just saying, they're not, they're not always the camis. <laughs> I've been used to perceive yourself just because you're Glaswegian and you're flattening and something. That's right, that's what everybody does. They're racist. They're racist. They've got me on the back foot. Good. <laughs> I don't really know how to respond to that. No. Anyway, I find you interesting. Thanks very much. That's very kind. And I find you've obviously got a wealth of knowledge, and, and you've done. I'm a not going to use my wealth of knowledge because of um, the rules. Okay, I know, I know, but the rules are the rules, and obviously. Yeah, I but the rules can be changed, and especially if they're not working. MPs. I've already been. It's, yeah. have you, you've seen it it's, uh, with my MP. Uh, so yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know whether they really go with a uh, that the, the Glaswegian point but anyway <laughs> the, the point I was trying to make is <laughs> that some other people depending on how you come across if if they believe you're uh, listen I should be able to express myself in the manner that I choose to express myself if, if you're starting as long as the recipient of the uh, conversation is not actually feeling like you're Overbearing, threatening. Well, I may be overbearing, but and, and I'm yeah, not physically no, threatening. But, but yeah, it's not mine. Uh -huh. Conversation. You, you tell me what can I speak, and I'll, I'll and like that. I say you can I speak, and you be, and, and it's it's all good. So then we're having our conversation. Of course, but, but I do that every day of my life. But other people might think because I'm a Glaswegian. <laughs> <laughs> racist. No, you burgers are anti Glaswegian no, <laughs> racist. <laughs> no, to be honest with you, it wasn't in here, it was in Glasgow anyway. The problem started. And sometimes what will happen is 
your hobby is that you might get a uh, overheated or the person might think Ah, because they're holding back my benefits uh, for no apparent reason or they're not doing what I actually require to you do. No, I don't do the cards thing. I just send me a text, thanks. Okay. Do you want me to sing this? Uh, I'm trying to uh, get this. So, back to my point. Yes. So, yes. Um, basically now, uh, I've spent a year developing a business plan. It could be a multi-million pound business. And the only thing that's holding me back is in, uh, the access to initial um, in income. I can't go in any or or I've, I've, I've not done it, which is a private company, the only way of actually getting off this. I can't, the DSL want me to rewrite it. The business uh, gateway has been a complete waste of time. So, I mean, what, what's the point in having all these civil servants uh, there to actually, <laughs> what's the point in having all these civil servants and not funding the entrepreneurs? It's a bonkers system. Listen, uh, if, if it was me, right, and this is truly what I think, I think any barrier or, ch or challenges that any people, peoples uh, are under, right, I think if it's not too much, we should fund. That's my personal opinion. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, the constraints of the business. But my point to you, can I just make a point? Can I make a point? If I set up this business and it generates millions of pounds, it's going to pay, it's going to be exponentially, exponential yeah. to um, the, the amount, and I told you this is the growth. Okay, okay. Do you know what I hear there? Right? And, and this is what probably the people that make policy right. in that, higher they than me, paid more than me, yeah. right? As if. I know, but it's all ifs. And the point is, the point is like, no, but the point is it's like life assurance. The more you do, the greater the opportunity you're going to get to. And, 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 a, and a venture capitalist is only looking for two in ten businesses. What? Speculate to accumulate. Exactly. You've got to actually uh, um, get these businesses up and going. I know and it's not a lot of money I'm looking for. I'm not looking for hundreds. I'm getting a failure. Uh, failure to connect. So that's obviously... But the good thing is, I've just put it through my name. All right, that's fine, boss. All right, that's fine. Uh, right, your next appointment. Two weeks. Right, it's two weeks time. You don't need a card because you're. No, I'll get texted right? anyway. Uh, what was going to say? Um, Do you like a card? No, no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine. Thanks. Uh, on your fridge. Uh, I'm, well, I'm not in the fridge yet. I'm getting housed uh, next week. So I spent two years starving on the streets and now two years uh, in a, a bed, uh, a single personal yeah, accommodation. Your move, I need to update the system. It'll be for the next appointment. Okay. I should be next week. Okay, so, okay. that's fine. So, uh, my other question, uh, my other question, my final question is... You sure? You were, you were, uh-huh. You were saying that it's costing £1,200 to keep me in a bed and breakfast per month, right? It's costing £1,200. And um, within five months, that amount of money could have set up the business and I could have actually uh, been um, generating cash. Uh, and because I can't do this, I'm not able to generate the cash. Right. I know, I know you said you've got many... Uh, uh -huh. You did mention that last time. Right. You, you uh, I know, but I just wanted to mention yeah. this thing. Because the, the more money's been kept to keep me unemployed than it would be to actually get me to develop the businesses. And then it would take me off unemployment, which would reduce um, uh, cons uh, my problem, and it would also help me generate um, uh, generate the, the, the money. Maybe you know, I'm being uh, facetious here. No, that's fair. Maybe we just want to keep you on benefit, so I've got a job. Oh, I, I, I think, I, it's not just you that's getting a job out of my unemployment. Uh, I'm jokingly no, that. I know, but I think that's actually you a bit too close that, to the truth. You do know that was a joke. I know, I understand that, but I think it's too close. 1,200 quid to keep me in one room, bed and breakfast uh, per, per month. Uh, I mean, I can stay in a penthouse for twelve hundred pounds, uh, twelve hundred pounds a month. I can't even wash my clothes in this bed and breakfast. So, I mean, it's absolutely terrible. For £1,200 a month, can't wash your clothes. Somebody's making the money out of me being unemployed. Private entrepreneur. Well, I can't start my business because you guys no, won't let me. It's really clever. Making money, the entrepreneur. Uh -huh. you know, no, it's the guy. No, no, no. It's the guy that's fleecing the system because of the way the system is set up. He's an entrepreneur. He or she will think they're he, uh, But he's fleecing you guys because the state's too big. There's always a con around the corner, eh? <laughs> As always, Mr. Valentine. Pleasure. Pleasure. Cheers.